In this lecture, we are going to learn about access modifiers. Okay. So what does this access modifier mean? Okay. So by the name, it means something it suggested. It is about the access of data members. Okay. And member functions of the class. Okay. Who can access it? And from where you can access them and how much access each person from different places have got. Okay. So these are the things we will talk about here in this lecture. Okay. So define where your field methods can be accessed from. Okay. So this defines these access modifier keywords will define where your data members and methods can be accessed from. Okay. So we were looking at this little word the public okay and every time I was saying in the previous lectures that we will look at it so now the time has come that we will look into it so what are the access modifiers you will see public this is the first one next you will see private okay this is the second one and the third one is protected which again we will see in later classes okay so for now we will look at public access modifier and private access modifier okay so let's see what the heck are they so we have one example here for you okay let's see so we have a class okay again we are always talking about a point class you might be bored with this but it's okay so class point then we say that okay public this you have seen and you are bored by this also okay so public then we define double x and y okay so what does this mean okay and then we give also a colon so let's see the meaning so it means that now when you have these variables and whatever functions are written after this till you write another access modifier like private okay so till that this access modifier will work all of these data members and the functions they are all public okay so now let's see the meaning of public what does it mean let's try to see so public and internet you know it means that okay it is available publicly to everyone in this world okay anyone can see it anyone can okay so modify something like that okay so here also it means the same so these data members and functions so they can be accessed from anywhere so they can be accessed from outside the class okay they can be changed the data members can be changed also they can be accessed from outside the class and of course they can be accessed from inside the class as well okay so this is there okay so now if you see so public can be accessed from anywhere okay so class point so public double x y so this is the class and then we have this constructor if you see so constructor should it be public okay so it should always be public why because when we are creating an object it is always from outside the class okay you don't define an object inside the class it is always defined outside the class and hence your constructor must be public. Okay. If you want to create an instance of it. So point P2 comma 2.0 3.0 P dot X is 5. It's allowed. Okay. So X is a public member. Okay. So you can access it from outside P dot X is 5.0. It's perfectly legitimate. Okay. It is allowed. This access is allowed. Now let's come to private access modifier okay so we will see about the private access modifier so now we define the data attributes x and y coordinates as private so this is let's see the difference now so now we have defined it as private so one thing is you cannot access so if i write now in int main so point p Okay, and then if I try to do p dot x is equal to 5 and p dot y is equal to 7. So 
so it will give an error okay so compilation error why because now your access is limited so it's private which means only the functions inside the class can access these x and y okay so what happens here can only be accessed within the class okay you can access only it from inside the class so int main so now if i do p dot x is 5 dot 0 so it's not allowed use so what should we do now if you make a private data x and y as private so how should we access those values we have to access those values so how to access then we should have the getters and setters method okay get x okay int okay so it's not int so it's a double get x and here you say return x okay so similarly you have double get y and then i will say that okay return y so now the thing is someone can ask what is the great thing about it so the great thing is that now you have as a coder you have the privilege that you only allow what you want okay so you just want to give x here okay so you give that value okay so they cannot be directly accessed this get x okay so this is kind of read only you can get that value but you cannot change okay so this is what is shown here also so double get x so it will return x double get y it will return y so if you want to print the value of x so now you cannot say that okay it should be something like p dot x you cannot write it will give compilation error but you can now write p dot get x so that is allowed okay so now you will ask that how can i set the value so setting is also similar okay so how to do so we will write void set x now you give here the value int n x you make x is equal to n x and so this is the set method okay set function that can set the value so here i can write p dot set x and 5.0 so this will set the value of x to be 5.0 okay so this is allowed so these getters and setters are there to access and modify the values okay but they have limited whatever you want in the way you want to modify only in that way the values can be modified okay so now let's see a little bit about default access modifier what happens if i write a class okay without giving any access modifier so in c++ private is the default so if you write like this so it means class point here so this private is implicit here okay so these are private attributes of the class okay so this is equivalent to private double x comma y so let's see it the similarity between the struct in c and c plus plus the class in c plus structs are carry over from the c in c plus plus classes are used okay but they are quite similar so default access modifier but for the struct it is public okay but for class it is private okay so that's there and then is so if you see so here struct point x comma y it means this is struct double x comma y public but if class i do it's private okay so that's there and this ends our discussion on class okay so we have read mostly all the things that are needed for writing basic programs on class so i hope you understand this thanks a lot